Is October twice as nice? Well, it's back to Strasbourg for the second time this month, as migration, the Sakharov Prize and GMOs feature big at the plenary. Welcome to the agenda. Extraordinary meetings of EU leaders on the migrant crisis continue. Another is planned for Sunday to try to help Western Balkan countries cope with the influx of migrants. The migratory route for refugees bound for Germany is through these countries, but they're balking under the pressure. Hungary has closed its borders and Slovenia has just passed legislation to get the army to police its borders, leaving many migrants trapped. With winter fast approaching, the EU needs to get its act together. On Tuesday, there will be a debate with the EU Council President Donald Tusk and Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker on decisions taken by EU leaders. With a weather like today, an exotic holiday wouldn't go amiss. It's said that consumers lose over a billion euros every year due to a lack of sufficient cover while travelling abroad. Rules are being updated to provide greater protection on package deals. The scope is being widened beyond the traditional deal on flights and accommodation, taking into account the way in which people shop around for the best deals. MEPs vote on Tuesday. in Strasbourg, but at committee level, MEPs of the Special Tax Committee will put a report to a vote that looks to ensure better tax practices across the continent. The vote on Monday comes as both Starbucks and Fiat have been ordered to pay back up to 30 million euros in taxes for being given unfair advantage in Holland and Luxembourg, respectively. The report goes before the full house in November. New legislation that will give member states the right to restrict or ban GMOs could actually be voted down in Strasbourg. The Environment Committee and many political families want the House to reject the legislative proposal. They say it's not feasible and could lead to border control tensions between proponents and opponents of GMOs. Find out what happens at the vote on Wednesday. Championing a cause that delights, MEPs will put to a vote legislation that aims to end roaming charges. The legislation would end roaming charges by 2017. But if that's too far to wait, don't forget that by the end of April next year, the voice calls will only cost you five cents a minute, text messages two cents, and data five cents per megabyte. Let me underline this. The 2015 work program came with a tagline, a new start. Over to Commission First Vice President Franz Timmermans, who will unveil the executive's priorities for the year ahead. And don't forget that the recipient for the Sakharov Prize 2015 will also be unveiled in Strasbourg. Will it be Raif Badawi, the Venezuelan opposition or Boris Nemtsov? And that's all we have for this agenda. Take care and enjoy the week.